Welcome back to Vancouver Carpenter. So today's just a quick little video to teach you guys a really effective method for pulling brad nails. And I know a lot of you guys, yeah, you've got your tools and you think it's the best way, but I think most of you aren't going to know the one that I am going to be showing you. And the reason is I didn't know this method for a really long time either. So let's start with the first one that I was taught. So that is, I don't even know what these are called. I've heard them called bull nose pliers. I've heard them called end nipper pliers, but these are the ones that I was shown early in my apprenticeship. So let's take a look at how these ones work. Okay, these ones have so much leverage, you can't even see my hands in the screen if I get all the way up there. Anyways, let's get on to here. So the problem with these is that if it's a stubborn nail and you pull really hard, what happens is they will, they'll break the nail, right? So you'll be trying to pull it out and even worse if you're right down low and you squeeze a little bit too hard and it breaks that nail off. But otherwise, as long as it isn't a super stubborn material, these work really nice and that rolling, you know, the way they're rounded over, that works real nice. I can see why people think that these are an excellent tool to pull nails with. But again, once you start breaking a bunch of these off, especially repeatedly in a hard piece of trim, you will know why these are actually a frustrating tool to try and use. Okay, the next tool somebody showed me was the channel locks. And these are great because again, they have that nice round curve here that really help you roll that nail out. And also you can get tons of leverage, squeeze these hard, and they're way less likely to ever snap the nail. Generally, if these can't pull the nail out, then almost nothing can, but just wait and see. So I find these actually even easier than the bullnose pliers. Again, these are the second tool I learned how to pull nails with, or the second tool I learned could pull nails, and these are a great option. Okay, the third tool I learned that can pull nails really easily is needle nose pliers. Again, they've got that rolling feature, and these work surprisingly well. They just roll right out like that. Super easy. So the nice thing about that is it's a tool that you'll often have around. They don't seem to break it. It comes out really easily. I'm not sure I can really emphasize how easy these actually are. It's a very easy tool. And in fact, they're so effective. Now it's easier when you're on the other side, but I'm not right now. So I'll show you, we can even do two probably quite easily. Yeah, that was pretty easy. And last but definitely not least, a good old pair of linesmen. Actually, these might work better. These might even work better than the needle nose because they're a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna say that linesmen are actually the best and easiest ones to pull them out with. Definitely like the simplest tool that you're most likely to have on hand. So that's it, you guys. Like I said, short and sweet. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say linesmen are the best. I'm looking at the camera, not paying attention to how I'm doing it, so I'm struggling. But I would say these are the easiest one to operate. While the channel locks worked really well, they're kind of big and cumbersome and you have to have it set up to use nicely. These are definitely the most user-friendly. I can do it standing in any position, holding this board, no problem. Now, if you wanna make sure, like, let's say for some reason you've got a face that you don't want to damage you can either put like a metal glazier's bar or a wooden shim underneath it as you twist it so you're not going to damage the surface but in most cases i mean they come out of the back of the trim so we don't have to worry about damaging this at all anyways that's it there's no reason to drag this video out any further i would say for sure the linesman uh, did the best job i like these the most so that's it uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope your project's going well. And till the next video.